हॅलो स्टुडंट्स आय मिसेस माधवी म्हात्रे वेलकम यू ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ जनरल सायन्स आय होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डुईंग वेल ॲट होम अँड टेकिंग केअर ऑफ युअर सेल्फ अँड युअर फॅमिली ॲट द सेम टाइम यू आर डुईंग युअर स्टडीज रेग्युलरली वी आर स्टडींग चॅप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन लाईट अँड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ शॅडोज in this we have studied about what is light so what we have learnt is light makes the things visible to us if there is total darkness we cannot see anything and then we say various objects around us because of the light everything is visible to us because of the light then afterwards we have learned about the natural sources of light and man made sources of light like you can observe here sun and firefly is the natural source of light opposite to that electric bulb and wax candle they are man made sources of light so let us revise those points once again so what we can say is the objects or materials which emit light means they themselves are a source of light they give out light so such objects are called as luminous objects or luminous materials okay because they give out light opposite to that the sources or the materials which do not emit light they are called as non luminous objects or non luminous materials then we so that some man made objects or materials they emit light for example electric bulb candle so such sources are called as artificial sources of light opposite to that we have natural sources of light and then we have studied that sun is the main natural source of light then other stars fireflies then some angler fish also honey mushroom these are also natural sources of light but all these are visible only during night time because during day time because there is a bright sunlight we cannot see the light of all these sources okay then we have studied about propagation of light and then very with various examples we have seen that here light always propagates in a straight line that means light travels in a straight line we can see the light which is entering from the window that is in straight line okay so there we have seen various experiments here like see this experiment we have seen that here when this cardboards all the holes are in the same line we can see the candle uh, light of candle but when one of the cardboard is shifted or when the holes are not in a single line that time we cannot see the light okay so we can say that light travels in a straight line and this is called as linear propagation of light okay then we have seen the topic reflection of light how light reflects or or when the when we switch on the light in the darkness the things become visible to us so how they become visible to us that we have seen so here you can see that we have source of light here and the rays of light they fall on the object first and then those rays they reflect back and they are thrown back from that surface and these rays of light they enter our eyes and we can see the object okay so when these rays they are reflected back back or when they are thrown back it is called as reflection of light and when the reflected rays enter our eyes that time the things becomes visible to us or we can see the object okay after that we have studied about 
various objects which can reflect light then we have studied about images formed in a plane mirror then we have seen that when we see our image in the plane mirror the left and right side of the original object appears to be exchanged means our right hand side appears to be left hand uh, left hand okay so they are seen to be exchanged here in the mirror image then second property which we have seen is that the distance of the image and distance of the object from the mirror is same or we can say that the image is as far behind as uh, the object in front of it then we have seen that the third property or the third rule here that the size of the image is same as that of the object okay so these things we have seen now let's go ahead here now we are going to study about pin hole camera okay but uh, before that just pre, uh, uh, before that i asked you one question last time in the see on page number 99 use your brain power then i told you to start the tv by operating the remote control from behind it did you try it okay so what happens is even if we operate the remote from the behind the tv then also the tv starts why because the rays from the remote they are reflected from the opposite wall and then they are coming back to television and tv starts okay so if you have tried it you must have understood that it is because of the reflection of the light from the wall okay and the tv starts so this also uh, explains you the reflection of light now we will see the working of pinhole camera this you can do at home also okay you can make a pinhole camera at home see this pinhole camera simple pinhole camera is shown here and how uh, it works that is also shown here so to make a pinhole camera what you have to do is you have to take one empty cylindrical shape box or any box you can take you can take rectangular box also then also you can make pinhole camera then you have to remove its cap from one side okay and then you have to stick a thin paper okay then you have to make a hole at the center of the other cap suppose you have uh, stuck paper here on this side then on the other side you are going to make a small hole then what you have to do is you have to light a candle and hold the box in such a way that the flame of the candle is in front of the hole see like this you can see here it is a paper which is stuck on the one side and here you have the cap and in that you have made some small hole and in front of that you have to keep lighted candle and then you have to observe the image which is formed on the other side so what we can find is the image formed is inverted one see you can see it is exactly reverse the flame here is up and here you can see the flame is down okay that means we get the inverted image or the upside down image of the flame on the thin paper or we can say on the other end okay so in this way pinhole camera you can prepare at home you can try if you have an empty box at home you can definitely try it okay now here they have asked you one question that why is the image on the diaphragm of the pinhole camera inverted okay this is a thin paper which is called as diaphragm or membrane you can say so why this image is inverted okay so what happens here is the rays from the flame here of the candle they propagate in straight line you can see here so they are traveling in this way 
okay so they enter through this small hole and then they reach here on the screen or on the diaphragm you can say then here because of this because of the traveling of light in a straight line you can see that the top part it when it tra travels in the straight line it will go to the bottom of that paper and the bottom part of the candle when we draw a straight line it will go on the top okay so since the rays from the flame of the candle travel in straight line they enter in the crossed fashion on the diaphragm at the same time the rays from the bottom of the candle as i have said here they also enter the hole or other word for this is aperture in the cross way and reach the upper part okay that means the top part of the candle it reaches to the bottom part and bottom part is reaching to uh, reaching to the upper part okay that means they are reaching in the crossed way and due to this the image obtained on this screen is upside down or it is inverted okay so because of the linear propagation of light we can see the inverted image here the real image which can be taken on the screen is always inverted okay when we see the image or when we see the shadow it is not inverted so the actual image here is always inverted the, the image which can be taken on the screen is always inverted okay so all of you can try pinhole camera at home now let's go ahead now here we are going to see the different types of objects okay now here you can see three pictures so they have asked you question what difference do you notice on looking through the windows in the picture what causes the difference okay and then second point they have told you that the picture shows us transparent opaque and translucent window panes okay so can you recognize them what is meaning of transparent window pane what is meaning of translucent window pane and what is meaning of opaque okay so here first question they have asked you what difference do you notice so what we notice is all the windows in the picture they are not same when we look through the first window here we can see everything clearly okay all the things are illuminated that is why we can see them clearly because of the sunlight outside okay but in the second window we can see the things but they are not that clear the clearness is altered here and from the third window nothing is seen from the outside we cannot see anything from outside okay so this is what the difference is so the first window shows us the transparent window pane okay so this is called as transparent window pane so how we will define transparent window pane the material through which light passes is said to be transparent okay then the second one is translucent and third one is opaque okay so the material through which light passes partially not completely it sends is said to be translucent pane or translucent material and the material through which light does not pass is called as opaque material okay so all these points which are given in orange color box on page number 100 you can mark them okay it gives us the difference between the transparent translucent and opaque medium okay so all these are mediums one is transparent other is translucent see some of our window panes which we are using in sliding windows 
they are translucent means what all the things from the house are not visible completely to the outsiders okay and the wooden windows which are made they are completely opaque nothing can be seen from the inside or nothing can be seen from the outside okay so in this way we have three different types of materials so i hope you have you must have understood this now after this we will go towards the next topic that is formation of shadows we will see how shadows are formed here so for this you have to do one experiment here what you have to do is you have to take a torch like this boy has taken a torch and you have to flash its light on the wall now ask your friend to stand in between the light and the wall and then what will happen okay so you know the answer what is going to happen you can see in the picture also that when the friend comes in the front of the torch light his or her shadow falls on the wall we can see the shadow of our friend on the wall okay so this shadow is formed because the friend acts as an opaque object if the object is transparent then the shadow will not be formed so see on page number 101 the top box that if an opaque objects come in the way of light source then light does not pass through it okay then afterwards as a result the light does not reach towards the wall or it is not reaching on the wall or any other surface the light is falling on your friend but it is not going through the friend's body okay the light cannot reach on to the wall and that is why that part remains dark since the light cannot be reached toward to the wall that part remains dark okay so this dark part is nothing but the shadow of the object so you can see the shadow of your friend the shadow is formed because your friend's body is opaque and the light is not passing through it and that is why that particular part remains dark and this dark part is called as the shadow of the object okay now here they have told you that you compare the objects in your environment with their shadows okay for example you can uh, compare the shadows at different different types of day in the morning see the size of the shadow in the afternoon you can see the size of the shadow and again then in the evening you can see the size and the direction of the shadow so observe all these things and see what do you notice okay now let's study more about shadows by uh, doing some experiments okay as i have said you have to compare the objects in your environment with the shadows then now we will try this what we will do here is we will ask our friend to stand at a certain distance from you in the big room you have to take a big room and most probably the room if it is vacant then it is better okay so that the complete wall will be available to you okay then you take a torch and obtain the shadow of your friend on the wall afterwards you will carry some actions okay what you will do is first of all you will ask your friend to stand close to the wall and then you will observe the shadow okay so first thing is this that ask your friend to stand closer to the wall and observe the shadow then ask your friend 
to walk towards you and then you can observe the shadow what happens with the shadow okay then next what you do is you hold the torch that means you stand on some high object on table or stool like that okay so hold the torch high and then low okay and then you can go towards left you can go towards right of your friend and you can observe the different shadows okay like here you can see three different images that when the friend is quite close to the wall that that time the height of the shadow is less when the friend walk towards you when the walk friend is coming closer to you you can say that the height of the shadow or the length of the shadow is increased and when here when you are standing on height and when you are lowering the torch on your friend's face or on, on your friend's body then you can see that the shadow has become short so here the size of the shadow changes according to the source okay how the source is so accordingly it is changing okay so what we can say here is the shadow of the object is formed only when light does not pass through the object also the kind of shadow formed depends upon the relative distance like here you can see the relative distance distance between the screen and the object here it is changing distance between the source and the object is changing so here depending upon this distance that distance between the source of light the object and the surface or the screen now here wall is the screen or surface so on which the shadow is formed so depending upon the distance between all these three source object and screen the size of the shadow changes okay or we can say the nature of the shadow depends on this distance okay so similar thing you can observe during day time at sunlight also the shadow of the object formed due to sunlight they are long in the morning okay and in the evening also they are long but what we will observe is the uh, shadow direction is exactly opposite in the morning if you are getting shadow on right hand side then in the evening you will get shadow on uh, on the left hand side because you know that our earth is rotating around itself and in the afternoon we can say that the shadow is short so we can easily note all these changes when we observe the objects around this for example you can observe any object like if you have any pole in your area or if you have any tree in your in your area or any other object okay so by observing the shadow of that object you can note all these changes so this change of the shadow depends on the source of the light the object and also on the surface on which the shadow is formed okay everywhere all these three things are important the source of the light the object and the screen also the nature of the shadow depends upon the distance between all these three that is screen object and the source of the light okay now after this turn the page come to page number 102 and there in purple color box you have do you know and there the information about sun dial is given so that is under reduced syllabus but for your extra information you can read it as i have said even though government has uh, reduced the syllabus they have given remark their self study that means students have to read that particular topic okay so so you read it for your knowledge and try to understand see do you know it is only for your information so obviously you can read it as i have told you that science is an interesting subject if you are curious you can know more things 
so you read it now let's go ahead now here also they have given you a small activity which you might have done so you can do this as a fun that you can use your hands and feet and then you can form different different shadows like this see how they have given the position so at night you can try it you can sit in the dark room you can light a candle or you can take a torch and you can do all these things so this is fun and here you can uh, make the different shadow shapes of birds animals etc okay now let's go ahead so here now one more experiment is given under the heading let's try this so here what you have to do is you have to take a glass then water then a large white sheet of paper you have to take okay so first of all what you will do is you will place the glass filled with the water on the sheet of the paper and this you have to do near the window so that you can receive the direct sunlight enough amount of direct sunlight you can receive so you have to keep uh, it near the window or if on your window you, you if you have space you can keep it on your window also and then observe what you can see on the paper okay so here can you observe here you can see the seven colors this you can do in dark room also with the help of torch and also you can do it with the help of prism now prism is made up of glass and here that prism is dispersing the light this is called as dispersion of light the white color light is broken into seven different colors it is called as dispersion of light so with the help of prism also this dispersion can be observed okay then the same similar thing you can observe with the disc also see this is a cd okay the reflecting surface of the cd you can see and there if you turn that part shiny part then you can see the colors there okay then the second thing they have done uh, told you to do about uh, it that is you have to take soap water and then you have to take small loop of wire and you have to dip that loop in the soap water and then you have to blow on it and the soap bubbles are formed you must have done it all of you must have done it because in market also you can see the soap bubbles that is a favorite uh, time pass of all the kids or even the other adults also they like to play with it so on that bubble we can see beautiful colors all the colors of rainbow they can be seen if you hold the cd in the sunlight then also you can see the colors okay so see here as i have told you about prism so this is prism and from that prism see this white light is dispersed into seven colors of rainbow this is done in dark room okay so the white light is entering the one side of the prism and from the other side the seven colors of rainbow can be seen so this is called as dispersion of light okay now next come to page number 103 there you have the topic in the past which is giving you the idea about newton's disk so this newton disk you can prepare at home also so try to prepare it read it it is under the reduced syllabus but as i said if you are interested you can do it okay afterwards the last topic here that what you have to keep in mind that we will see also this science watch at the bottom of the page is under the reduced syllabus so what we have seen here is 
the substance that emits light is a source of light then there are some natural sources which are sun then stars fireflies some of the angler fish they all are called as what natural sources of lights then some sources are man made like lantern then candle electric bulb all these are what artificial sources of light then we have studied that light always travels in a straight line that is called as linear propagation of light or we can say that light is propagated in a straight line then when the light gets reflected from the surface of the object then we can see that object then we saw three different types of material they are transparent translucent and opaque so when an opaque object comes in the path of the light or when that object obstructs the light stops the light the shadow is formed and finally we have seen that a white light white sunlight it is actually made up of seven different colors which can be seen in window and that is called as dispersion of light okay